Okay guys, so while this heats up and this water gets nice and toasty warm for another video, today we're going to be doing a review on the Jetboil Zip 0.8 liter. Now there's not a whole lot for me to say on this and that's the primary reason why I haven't really done a review on one of these is because a Jetboil to me is kind of a Jetboil. They're really all the same and you either love them or you hate them. Now for me and my personal experience using the Jetboil, I found it to be pretty darn good and I really like it with the strong if you can support it. Now what I mean by this is there's many different systems out there such as the MSR Pocket Rocket and other systems like that that are far smaller but their capabilities are also far less i.e. their fuel cells are smaller but they aren't as good or aren't rated for as much use as the Jetboil fuel canisters that is what I do like about the Jetboil system and the nice thing as you guys saw there from the unpacking is that if you can accommodate you know this unit here you can accommodate all of what you see here because it is very self-contained now one disadvantage is you do have to have a separate uh, kind of holder for water like a bottle in and of itself just for the water but once again if you can afford to have water and this unit as two separate entities it is a very effective system now of course the jet boil as you can see is very fast and very efficient and even these small canisters like the one shown will get you a solid 25 boils essentially out of it before the canisters dry so I like that as well so another pro to it is as you guys can see this is not a warm day and it does work pretty well outside now granted we have done a cold extreme winter test on these and if you let the fuel canisters get too cold just like any propane esque fuel they do turn from a gas to a liquid and are no longer burnable or usable so do bear that in mind if you are intending to use one of these systems so the reason why I chose the 0.8 liter zip is really just one reason it came down to the fact of form factor and it came down to the fact of being able to carry it and use it or to be able to carry something that's still useful now I chose the 0.8 liter because it was the smallest jet boil that they offered and it was you know still pretty effective uh, 0.8 liters is still plenty fine for cooking up stuff especially making a cup of coffee especially if it's just myself so that's why I chose the 0.8 liter and I actually like it I've had no problems with it and in fact if I had to choose one again it would still be the 0.8 liter because of its form factor its size its weight and the fact that it can still carry you know a canister of fuel can still carry you know the little propane ignition head essentially the element and you know the legs that the uh, fuel uses you know can carry all of it so anyways that is basically my down and dirty thoughts on this thing it works really well and when it comes to jet boils you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them there's really no in between ground for me myself while I will say they're not perfect for every condition or every situation, I do find myself being quite a fan of jet boils because they do work really well. They do get a cup or a pot, even in these cold temperatures, right up to heat really fast. So, anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about the jet boil zip 0.8 liter. It's a nice setup, and I would highly encourage checking them out you know you can get into these things for right around 80 to 75 dollars so pretty affordable it's not too bad uh all things being considered okay guys so that's all i have for now as always god bless and i'm out